last time we had a retreat, we had an agreement, but then, you know. But the re that agreement is, has been recorded, correct? Right. But it's, on, it's on record. But still, uh, you know. So we could add something, um, maybe the add between the second and the third paragraph that says something to the degree of um, that the board should follow a, a general practice of not responding to individual public comments at the time they are made. The board chair will have the. Yeah, I think, I think that's a reasonable. I think that, that still gives us leeway, but it tells what. Are you all comfortable with that? Yeah. Okay. A formal legal opinion on the recording of board meetings. Uh, is, is this necessary? Um. Uh, well, we have we had a couple incidents regarding a commissioner recording a meeting. And in retrospect, I, think, I don't think we handled it correctly. The question should have been, is it in order or out of order for a commissioner to record the meeting? That should have been just a ruling from the board chair, um, and then the issue would be done. But since they are recorded now, isn't it a moot point? Unless a, next time a commissioner decides to record a meeting, just oh, you're, you're should, talking about an individual. Yeah, yeah. Yes. that's yes. Out of that that we had onsite or offsite. Yeah. We had offsite. Okay. Well, there was onsite and offsite incidents. There were two. The first one that I recorded, and then. The one I recorded. Does, any, does yeah. anybody have an issue if Matt and records a, a meeting recorded. with yes. his own right. personal yes. device? And, and the M MRSC uh, backs us. So on. it should just, we just need a ruling from the chair. You say, we do Robert's Rules of Order. Either it's in order or it's out of order. But a legal opinion is something different than a ruling. Well, I would suggest the chair has confidence they're making a legally sound ruling because. I think there's legal consequences if you rule incorrectly. Well, what do you look at this? And there's no, you can't stop anybody from Matt or a commissioner as a member of the public can record in a public meeting. But the commissioner also is a public official participating in an open public meeting, and that recording uh, it is out of record. Yeah, part needs to become part of the open public record. So and that means it has to be archived under certain regulations and accessible. Yeah, so and the mechanics of that that council just basically says if you can avoid all of that, you should. And, and it's not so if you you know that's why you record your own on your own equipment. And, um, but I think the question comes up. But our policy says just regular meetings. Mm -hmm. it doesn't say special meetings. So when we're in Chelan having a meeting, when we don't have all that apparatus there, uh, what happens if a commissioner wants to record the meeting? Of course, we have a special meeting with the legislator. Yeah. yeah. And so you're saying that if, Jill, if the chair says that you're out of order, I'm saying, yeah, we're, we commissioner go. would be cool with that. No, I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying thing, you just, then you stand by, then things would happen. I mean, if it's just like if there was someone in the audience and the chair said you're out of order for recording the meeting, then but then, then you have to decide. They're not. They, they okay, have well, the legal right to do that. I agree. So it is a commissioner. You do have yeah. a legal so, right. But so you can tell, but if you have a problem with it, if any board member has a problem with something someone else is doing in the meeting, they can say, I think that's out of order. And the chair gets to rule. Is it out of order or not? And then, if you say it's out of order, then the board member so can either obey the order or not. Why would you want to go through all that when you know the reason? Why would you want to have the board chair say that when you understand? 
Well, I would suggest that because you... I wouldn't turn off the recorder. The board will out of order. So he just wants to get it on recording. Because so I think if something's out of order, you have the right to remove the person from the room. I mean, if someone is violating the rules of a meeting in a private property, and they're out of order, you can kick them out. So my suggestion to the board chair is don't rule that it's out of order. I would say, say well, don't, don't go there. That would, that would create a, a situation. And, and if an individual chooses to record the, uh, the, the meeting, then effort should be made to turn it into a public archive. Right? Then you would have to, would you have to then submit your recording to us? I mean, don't so have to. Yeah, you would. I mean, but you I would. Mean, I would. Well, because it would be a, a, or, 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 or official, or put the organization in jeopardy, legal jeopardy. And I mean, that, yeah. that is, that is the, the, the craziness of this. And, I, and frankly, I don't know why we need to revisit this. And at a time when we're talking about eliminating dysfunction from, from governance, that this is, yeah, you have the right, you do, but it, but it creates um, complications for the, the organization you are, you are s sworn to abide and comply with. So I don't get this, Matt, but, but, I, but you're right. No one can stop you if, if, that's, if that's what, you. And I don't really know where you're going with this. He wants to try to stop you? I think he does. Is that what you're suggesting? For what purpose other than... I'm pointing out we handled those situations incorrectly. It should have been Jesus. said. How many years ago is this? This is mute. We've had it's not. Meetings. I mean, it is. one of us could want to record a meeting. I just want to avoid this, an but explosive you know, you conflict. You're bringing if, it up. No, it, it is. You started it. It's um, we, it's not it's not about the recording. It it's it's about the, um, the 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 whole point of this. I think this um, this session, and it, that is that is that is something that um, uh, I'm uh, I don't I've said what I needed to say about it. So I think um, if if. A member of this public body should choose to record something. You have an obligation to try to get it to be part of the public record, or the organization is at risk because there was a member of the organization who recorded something and is not making it available to the public. Because if there is a recording made, it needs to be made available to the public. Would you agree? If it's yeah, that would be, of course. I mean, that's the, that's the, that's the, and that's what was done in each of the prior uh, recordings. They were given to. Okay, good. So we're good. So did you make copies of them? Mm -hmm. So that would be held, I think, why? for six or seven years. Why, why would you make a copy of a meeting with, that's being recorded? He, no, he recorded it himself. He did. Right. And then, and then he made a copy and he gave recorded. it to... Yeah, but I think, and this is where it um, would be helpful, because I think if he has a copy <clears throat> that's of this other public meeting, even though he made it available, then that still is open to public scrutiny access. And if you do it on your phone, then your phone is open to public access and everything on your phone now becomes what? open. What? So everything on his phone is open to public? If he made the recording on his phone. That's true. And there's a public record request for his, his, phone. his recording. It's just that legal part. can of worms that can easily be avoided. And um, I mean, that's, that's the Brett technical version of this. <laughs> and it, there's and it just puts my mind boggling that yeah. you would choose not I, to. I believe what we say in these meetings is important. The meetings that I recorded, you were, we were not recording them. So, so now it was we the are. only way, and there were very huge conflicts during those meetings over that issue. So I just think we should clarify if the situation ever happens again, let's not have that happen. Let's know what is going to happen. Let's, it's either in order or it's out of order. But, yeah. but you also, if I may say so, uh, said earlier on that you, whether it was in order or out of order, you were going to ignore the order. Right, because it's in so order. 
It is in order. You cannot tell someone to turn something off. You're, you're playing. Uh, so, could, could, could so, could I ask a question, Matt? So, what what would you recommend be written in here to clarify that going forward? I just recommend that this board knows what it's going to do if the situation happens again, because it's not. We made a mistake. It, we we might have violated a statute. Uh, the Open Public Meetings Act by trying to tell someone to turn off a recorder. That I think that might have been a statute violation, and we shouldn't do that. We should okay. know. Yeah. Okay, we don't like it if someone's recording, but can't. We shouldn't like harass them about it. It's just like it's either in order or out of order. But, but you could have taken a copy of the of the recording. Yeah. So 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 here here's the, the issue is, um, and th and this whole thing was instigated by showing up at a meeting and turning your recorder. What all thing? Whether we record the meetings or not, because we weren't, we didn't audio record them before that, mm -hmm. and so we called council and said, "What do we do here?" It wasn't really the will, of the, the interest of the board to audio tape meetings. We, we, that, that, that was not the, the norm with the work that we did when we contacted other public hospital districts. But you said, "I'm going to record them anyway," and. Um, so, and forced our hand. Uh, so then we put a policy together that said we would record um, and with legal counsel's advice, here's how you do that so you can make sure that that uh, audio oh, record no. is, uh, can, uh, doesn't face the scrutiny of, of some members of our community who from time to time look at the meta, <laughs> yeah, like the question of uh, Alyssa about the authenticity of the recordings. Mm -hmm. um, and, and here is the process, here is the mechanics, here is the machinery. Uh, and we'll do that for regular meetings, knowing that when three commissioners are meeting in a legislator's office, that's a special meeting. Um, and, and now we just do that. Um, uh, what you're talking about is when we have special meetings. And sometimes those special meetings include other representatives of boards that don't audio record their meetings. Um, uh, and sometimes those special meetings are, you know, in, in places where uh, may or may not be um, uh, conducive to recording. Um, uh, and, and I think you're, and you're, you're asking us to react to that when uh, uh, certainly it's my preference that uh, we follow the policy um, uh, which records regular meetings we don't we don't and then therefore commissioners don't record on their own private special meetings and we just avoid all of this I think the, the question or the, uh, the, the why of the road when, when you do this. And I think this is actually what happened, is that we just decided not to meet, that your commissioner colleagues were so uncomfortable with that. And I, it probably had less to do with the issue and more to do with maybe other stuff around the issue that we just, well, we won't meet them. And that just seems silly to me. I, I don't see how, do you want to, I would not take a position that wields power if there's people are not accountable for what they say in the room. And I do not feel, um, you know, you talk about trust, you know, you know what increases trust is having an account of what people said. Because if you can't, if we have so much trouble trusting each other on a basic level, I think we trust each other to like remember accurately a three hour conversation. Um, it's insane. It's like it's completely absurd that this board could function without an accurate record of what we say. I mean, I realized that after two months on the board. Um, all I care about is that we have efficient meetings. When we talk about something, and we agree to it. At the next meeting, we remember we agreed to it, and we don't have to revisit the issue. I mean, that's all a recording does for you. I don't know why we don't record off-site um, meetings, uh, except for the ones that other people would want to, you know, if it prevents us from meeting with legislators, that's totally fine, they're not gonna, and that's why, that's why I never insisted that we record everything, because then we wouldn't be able to serve our community, we wouldn't be able to meet with some people. And that's the case with the, when we 
when we were meeting with, with other organizations that don't record theirs and are not comfortable with that. It's yeah. the same thing. And I never, I never insisted we record those. Some so, people might, but. So I think we should uh, move on from this issue. I, I don't think, uh, I think it's the general opinion that there isn't a need for a formal legal opinion. And as your governance consultant, my recommendation is don't rule that out of order if it should come up. And I 